Welcome back everyone. Before we proceed with async actions in our React application, there are a few minor details that I wanted to cover. In this video, I want to show you how to add a payload to your action creator. To understand that, I have a very simple scenario. Right now, on click of the buy cake button, we can only buy one cake. To improve that, what we are going to do is add an input element where we specify the number of cakes to buy. If you then click on a button to buy cakes, the number of cakes will be decremented by the appropriate amount. Let's see how to do that. I'm going to start off by creating a new file called newcakecontainer.js. And to save us some time, I'm going to copy the code from cake container and make the necessary changes. First, we change the component name to new cake container. Next, let's take a look at the JSX. We are displaying the number of cakes, which is fine. But what we need after this is an input element to accept the number of cakes that we want to buy. Let's add the logic for that. We would need a state variable, so let's import use state from React. Then in the function body, create a new state variable. Number, set number, and the initial value is one. Now we can add the input tag. Input type is equal to text, value is equal to number, which is our state variable. And on change, we're going to set number to event.target.value. The next thing to change is the onClick handler. To the bycake function, we now need to pass in the input value as a parameter. So arrow function, props dot by cake and we pass in number and let's change the button text to by number cakes now the method signature we have changed over here props dot by cake corresponds to by cake in our map dispatch to props function so we need to make the change here as well so by cake is now going to accept number and pass in number. And this by cake corresponds to the action creator we have defined. Let's change that now. In cake actions, the action creator now accepts number as a parameter. But remember, this same action creator is used in cake container and hooks cake container as well. So what we are going to do is set its default value as one to ensure that the existing functionality doesn't break. Now what do we do with this parameter? Well, we are going to add a new property to the action called payload. And this payload is equal to the number parameter. Again, you could call this anything you want to, but payload is sort of the convention. All this does is send additional information to the red user. Let's go over there and make use of this information. So open cake red user and over here, when the action type is by cake, instead of reducing by one, we reduce action dot payload type and payload are basically the properties of our action. All right, that is pretty much it. In app.js, let's include the new cake container and test this out. You can see that by default, the input value is one. If I click on buy one cakes, we buy one cake. If I change the value to three and click on buy three cakes, the number decrements by three. The other components continue to work without breaking. 
our implementation works as expected. So this is a scenario which you're going to come across often in your application. Most of the time, you would want to send some data from your component and use it in your reducer. Using the action payload is the conventional way of doing that. All right, that is about action payload. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.